Hello hockey fans, well I just finished reading Bruce Firestone's Don't Back Down, the real story of the uh, founding of the Ottawa Senators it's, and the many aspects of his life leading up to him owning the Ottawa Senators. It's a fascinating story and it certainly opens your eyes as to the, uh, the political, uh, the uh, side of the story as well as the uh, business side of the story of owning a National Hockey League team and how difficult it can become uh, when the competition is so much bigger and stronger than you are. Uh, fighting billionaire owners in the U.S. Uh, to try and remain competitive and, and the bad luck that this team has had with some of their draft picks early on that uh, changed the way this team could have looked like uh, still now. About the only thing that's saving the Senators these days is the salary cap and the fact that they can keep uh, quality players because every team cannot have every star player. Uh, ask the Chicago Blackhawks how that worked out. Uh, they've had to rebuild their team three times now. Now the, bo the bottom line to this book is, is it worth owning? Absolutely, it's a, the $10 is a great investment. It gives you a full story of how the team came to be here as well as a, a look in the history of Ottawa, uh, a fairly recent history. And as someone who has uh, also moral, well, I've never been, my grandfather was uh, on the city council for years, so. Uh, I read a lot of the articles uh, from his time there, the, the fights that he had to get things like uh, he was a commissioner of parks and recreation and had to fight every inch of the way to create more parks, more recreation, more play areas for the city of Ottawa to make it, you know, a, a, a metropolitan if you want. And uh, Bruce Firestone's had the same fight. He's had to fight government on every level uh, to get this team to be in Ottawa and uh, the politics behind it is absolutely amazing but uh, he fought hard him and his team uh, he mentions that quite often he couldn't have done it by himself obviously and uh, they, they're still running the team serial leader is still running the team so uh, he, he uh, his fingerprints are all over this uh, from beginning to end and uh, glad to hear especially at the end of the book that he's now free of all the debt that was dumped on him because of his involvement with the senators and the bankruptcy that followed it it was incredible to read that the millions of dollars that he had invested in the team in the end he collected like three thousand dollars out of the bankruptcy and still owed uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes and and all this it was just a absolute disaster at the end but uh, he wanted a team here he fought for the team to get here and uh, it's been a very in uh, intelligent and uh, good read I th truly enjoyed it and I highly suggest it for anybody who uh, wants to take it on until next time